Agriculture and food security are a fundamental mainstay for any economy. This is all the more important on the African continent today, where the livestock sector accounts for almost one third, and in some countries, more than half of the agricultural GDP value. Ensuring food productivity and security on the continent is a critical goal and aspiration of the African Union's Agenda 2063 framework and Aspiration 1. For many communities, livestock serves as a core asset, fueling investments aimed at meeting the ever-growing demand for protein, while for others, it is simply a source of livelihood, supporting households in a variety of ways. But keeping livestock also requires investing in their welfare. The African Union's Pan-African Veterinary Vaccine Centre, PANVAC, is charged with safeguarding animal livestock from disease, enhancing nutrition and maintaining food security in order to contribute to the well-being and prosperity for all our citizens. It does this by providing African countries with the appropriate tools for surveillance, control and prevention of animal diseases, focusing on quality control for all veterinary vaccines produced and imported to Africa, and production and distribution of essential diagnostic reagents for surveillance of animal diseases. Like many uh, organizations of its like, uh, veterinary schools, uh, diagnostic laboratories, they were established because of disease. And for PANVAC, it was as a result of the Rindepes epidemic that uh, ravaged the, the continent uh, in the late 18th century to the early 19th century. Uh, as you know, Rindepes came into Africa through uh, South Africa. And until the 1960s, it was a major problem. There were many campaigns uh, which were implemented to control this disease all failed. Well, saying miraculously, uh, this disease, shortly after establishment of PANVAC, the clinical disease disappeared. And the EU wondered why this disease, which has taken so many years to control, disappeared within a few years. It was the quality assurance implemented by PANVAC that ensured that this disease was taken care of in such a short period. And based on that recommendation, the, the FAO further recommended that this institution be brought under the African Union so that the lessons learned during the uh, Rendipest campaign should be used to, to control other diseases on the continent. And as such, by 2004, PANVAC came under the African Union, and it was then called AU PANVAC, African Union Pan-African Vaccine Center. PANVAC is an internationally recognized institute of high repute and is designated as a world organization for animal health. It is also designated as one of the four Rinderpest holding facilities in the world, and PANVAC is the only center in the world certified to hold Rinderpest field and vaccine strains in the same facility. In addition, PANVAC annually tests more than 1 billion vaccine doses for the protection of animals. It is estimated that 90% of all meat consumed in Africa is likely to be from livestock treated with vaccines certified by PANVAC. And the efficacy pass rate of vaccines tested by PANVAC has increased from 20% in the 1980s to around 90% today. Today, our major uh, focus is controlling diseases. And we are doing that through uh, two major ways. One is ensuring that all vaccines either produced or imported into Africa are certified by PAMVAC. That means all vaccines to be used on the continent must be certified. This is done per batch. We also uh, are mandated to produce essential biological reagents for the surveillance of uh, diseases on the continent. We have here a continental vaccine bank. We have in our repository about 3 million doses of vaccines. We hope in the next three years we'll have about 10 million doses to take care of any eventual or unlikely event of a Rindepest outbreak, either due to deliberate or accidental release. So we have that capacity. Right now we also have the Rindepest virus itself collected from all the member states in our repository which means we are keeping them for, in the case of an outbreak, 
we may use those rind uh, viruses to determine what type of vaccines to produce against those outbreaks. So we are fully capacitated. All we need now is to increase the staff strength and to establish a brand new facility that will be compliant with international standards and that will be okay for, for uh, meet our needs uh, to implement our mandate. PANVAC has an extensive range of capacity building measures to support member states. Amongst these, training veterinarians and technicians and providing expertise and technical support via vaccine producing and diagnostic laboratories. In addition to this, PANVAC has in place contingency measures for emergency preparedness through an extensive vaccine bank aimed at countering a range of animal diseases. We don't produce vaccines, we certify vaccines, but the major vaccines used on the continent now are PPR vaccine, vaccines against pest deputy ruminant, which is called PPR. The next vaccine is uh, CBPP, contagious bovine pleurum pneumonia. This is a pneumonia of cattle. There are other diseases that are also very important on the continent. For example, Newcastle disease. As we know, chickens are a household name on the continent, especially this has to do with women and children. Women keep chickens in most parts of Africa. And uh, the disease called Newcastle disease is a major threat to poultry production in Africa. So these diseases are major, in addition to some other ones which are prevalent, uh, such as uh, foot and mouth disease. So there are quite a number of uh, diseases. Unfortunately, most of the animal diseases are located in Africa and some parts of Asia. Uh, and uh, we are doing our best to see that uh, for the priority um, vaccine preventable diseases, that we ensure that uh, good quality vaccines are used to control those diseases and we ensure also that uh, we build uh, diagnostic capacities. PAMVAC is a, a special technical office, is a branch of uh, DREA, the department that I, I am aiding. As a commissioner, I had the opportunity to visit the PAMVAC Center and I was highly impressed. And today we have an ISO in that PAMVAC we have an ISO to certify all the vaccines we are giving to our animals. So if you don't have this type of a specialized technical office, how do you address this problem? It's very important to have this type of agency because you know that our research and development in Africa is weak, very weak, lack of uh, finance to, you know, to fund our research. But this one is you know, one of the instruments that any pastoralist that is, you know, rearing his cattle or his uh, small ruminants needs this vaccine. Where do you get this vaccine? You have it in the continent. So we, should need, we need to encourage this type of action. So PANVAC is taking care of the animals. Let PANVAC be there. Let's strengthen PANVAC and continue because we are talking about an agenda 2063. So it's a continuity uh, and it is a sustainable. When you talk of sustainable development, PANVAC has to be a sustainable development for the transformation of agriculture and food security on the continent. The well-being of our livestock is not only a key component for rural community prosperity, but also has wider societal and economic knock-on effects in terms of the food supply and value chains. The growth in Africa's urban population and increasing demand for food consumption put PANVAC's work and quality control research and combating methodology at the forefront of the project alliances within the CADEP framework and Agenda 2063. Livestock is a major component uh, of agriculture. Uh, first of all, we are under the Department of Rural Economy of, uh, and Agriculture, and CADEP is a major uh, program for the department, and we fit into the livestock uh, sector. We are a part of the Agenda 2063, trying to uh, ensure the eradication of hunger, uh, hunger by 2025. And uh, we play our parts by ensuring that diseases are taken control within the country so that production is improved and enhanced at the same time so that livelihoods of the people are improved, hunger and malnutrition is reduced. So we, we contribute our quota by ensuring that at least that aspect of disease 
is removed from it, that losses are not incurred due to disease, due to mortalities, or due to reduction in production. The challenges we face for food security are not isolated to our own veterinary practices or quality control. With that, PANVAC's mandate is convergent with other technical offices of the African Union and is even supported by comparative intergovernmental regional bodies. Our work is basically to protect animal health and protecting animal health ensures that we have good productivity, we protect public health and also we ensure the food that gets to our consumers is safe. To do this, a major tool that we use our vaccines. And that is what our brothers are doing the quality control of vaccines produced, produced by African institutions or imported in Africa for use by our livestock keeping communities. So the vaccine then that we, we support our member states to use is really the major tool we use for preventing diseases and for uh, controlling diseases. We've worked on several projects with the uh, AU IBA. A major one is the what we call the LIDESA, the Livestock Development Strategy for Africa. This was jointly produced, uh, developed uh, uh, between IBA, PANVAC and some major stakeholders. We have quite a number of projects we, which we are working on together uh, in addition to our, our separate mandates for the, uh, for the organization. PANVAC is a specialized agency of the African Union uh, and therefore what we do with PANVAC is the support of establishment and follow-up of the standards of production of the vaccines. So the know-how and, the, the, uh, and the technical assistance for that to ensure the proper uh, quality of production. PANVAC's mandate feeds directly into Aspiration 1 of Agenda 2063 by increasing productivity and value addition contributing to farmers and national prosperity and Africa's collective food security. We certify about 500 batches of vaccines every year currently and that translates to about 1 billion doses. Now 1 billion doses means vaccines meant for 1 billion animals. Now to make it uh, more uh, realistic, it has been assessed and found that Based on the, 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 the population of animals on the continent, about 90% of the meat on the table must have been treated one way or the other by vaccines certified by PANVAC. To put it lightly is to say that without an organization like PANVAC, you run the risk of getting all sorts of diseases what will from, from animals. Zoonotic diseases, these are diseases that are transferable from animals to humans. To talk about even the recent trends we, we've heard of the COVID-19, the, the SARS, MERS, Ebola, all these are diseases that originated from animals. So it is on account of places like this that at least for livestock, for priority diseases, that we have an opportunity to access meat and food that are safe, that are of good quality. Now, without this organization, there are quite a number of things that will happen. Simple diseases like uh, TB will go unnoticed and they are very deadly. So for us, this is a, uh, a service we have been implementing over time and uh, we are committed to, to implementing to ensure that uh, at least for the major diseases that are within us here, that we keep them away from humans and that at least for aesthetic reasons we eat meat that is of good quality.